Kelly Nicholson, and I'm the Intelli specialist at American Hydroponics. So I have spent the last seven years uh, setting grow rooms up all over the country with our high-end grow room controllers. Uh, the IntelliClimate is where I'm going to start. So the IntelliClimate is an all-encompassing grow room controller. It controls every aspect of your environment, from your temperature to your humidity, CO2, light levels. It has the ability to run pulsed foggers. It takes into account every reading in your room and makes the best decisions so that your room is run at exact optimum levels. It's a pretty simplistic start to the unit. You have the main brain, which is the IntelliClimate itself. Then you have relay boxes. The relay boxes provide the power to all of the different peripherals in your room. So if you have a fan or you have a dehumidifier, you have an air conditioner, this is what will power those. These are wired directly into the IntelliClimate. So for example, if your temperatures get too high and you want to turn a fan on, the IntelliClimate sends the relay box a signal telling it to turn on a fan. And so you can have up to 16 of these in your room. So no matter how many components you have running in a room, we can actually make it work with one IntelliClimate. To set your unit up, you can go through the basic menus. So the basics are here. You have your settings, which is today's settings. So your temperatures, your humidities. You have your targets, which is the cooling and heating targets, the humidity targets. You have your overrides to force components on or to disable them while you're in the room working, like a CO2, which you may not want to be injecting while you're in the room. You have alarms so that you can have alarms go off if your temperatures go outside of your range or your humidities. You have to set your clock so that it knows when to turn your lights on and off. And then you have a configuration screen. And then we have the install peripherals. So this is a big deal here. This is where you're going to tell what you have connected. So you have the ability to connect a fan one, which we have running right now. You have a fan two. So you can switch into here and tell it that you have either an air conditioner connected, a fan two, which is just a, an additional exhaust fan, or that you don't have anything installed. So we'll go ahead and say fan two. Then you have your heater. So currently we do not have a heater, but it's very easy if you add one. You just go to install and you hit save, and now it knows that we have a heater. You have your CO2 sensor. Since the environment sensor comes with a CO2 sensor, we always want to leave that on installed. The CO2 injector, currently we're not injecting CO2 in this room, so I have that set at none. So now you've basically set the unit up to tell it everything that you have connected, uh, what you want your daily set points to be, and how you want your fans to work, you know, when it gets too warm, when it gets uh, too humid. Uh, so this is, that's the very basics of the unit.